I am Yuki Riaolu Tumichi, an environmental biochemist of the University of Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I'm the AG Director for Exchange and Linkage Programs Unit of the University of Port Harcourt. It's exciting and reassuring that organizations like Next Einstein Forum, NEF, is excited about my work. My research passion revolves around assessment, monitoring, and remediation of impacted environments. The next challenge that my research is addressing is climate smart innovation. Why? Because my technology phytoremediation, which is the use of plants in recovering impacted soil environment, is actually sustainably giving enhanced productivity because of the resulting clean and safe water and soil that gives back to food for all. So our research has shown that increase in temperature had huge negative impact on the yield of common cereals in Nigeria, like the corn. So we have compared that with what we have after cleanup of soils by chemical means or even excavate and dump technology that are often being used, or some other physical like the thermal cleanup technology. So our technology is able to improve the temperature of the soil after recovery. I've cost effectively remediated main impacted sites in the Niger Delta where oil exploration and exploitation is at its peak in Nigeria. This is very important for small economies like Nigeria that are dependent solely or to a very great percentage on mining of natural resources here crude oil. So this is my natural hub. I don't need importation. I don't need exportation. I don't need preservatives. I don't need no toxic chemicals. I don't need high-tech expertise to get in here. So we get into the bush, we look out for some, some traits in plants and we're able to identify them. Like here I have um, my little plants, Centrosima pubescent, we have tried it, laboratory scale and we have also done field application. And this is actually good for remediation of lead in crude oil polluted soil because we have associated heavy metals whenever there are crude oil polluted sites. I've characterized several soils in the Niger Delta. To, to understand the soil quality, especially the pH, because we found that the pH is a big factor in the movement of the contaminants through the soil. So it's important for us. And in this, I've got a patent for remediation of crude oil polluted soil, the acidic type in the Niger Delta. So we've also tried to understand the nutrient composition so we can formulate soil conditioners for optimal growth of the plants that we're using in the technology. I've had recognitions in form of patent, like now I own a patent in the technology, and also of the next Einstein Forum, the African Academy of Science, UNESCO L'Oreal, Commonwealth, and many others have recognized me for my contributions in this field. There are challenges in deploying this technology. One of those will be low government buy-in. Maybe because of the slow pace of the technology, to recovery, and that's normal for biological technologies. They can support us with funding or institutional support to deploy transgenic technology to boost efficiencies of established plants in the technology. Again, we have either non-existing or weak policies in Africa for sustainable technologies in environmental regulation that needs urgent attention. We also need more researchers to work to list more hyper accumulators for use in the technology. And finally, we have heavy reliance on non-native experts and non-native technology. I mean from outside of the continent. We have a lot of African innovators. So we think African innovators are the right people to heal Africa and her land. My proposed plant-based technology has all it takes to heal Africa and also generate new bioproducts for the bioeconomy. You see that? The good news should not be carried forward only by government in policy making, but also by media houses, by journalists, by public and private sector in agenda setting, and for all the researchers to generate credible and robust evidence. Yes, restore our land. Heal our land, rehabilitate our land.